Hey everybody, Ezor here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get all the Moonflower keys in order to get the blueprint for the game Dead Cells. Now there's no achievement for this, this doesn't anything, this just is something that I've been working towards since I started playing the game, I was wondering how to get it, so if you're curious like me, this is definitely the video for you. You do need a couple of things in order to be able to get this though, so uh, first off you will need to have the Spider and Ram Ruins, which you should have by now anyway. But uh, also the biggest and probably the most difficult thing is that you need to be able to play on boss cell level 3. If you play Dead Cells at all, you know what I'm talking about. You need to be playing on the expert difficulty, which is not the worst in the world, uh, but definitely not easy. So, with all that done, what you need to do is you need to end up going to the Promenade of the Condemned. This is where you're going to be all getting all the gardener's keys, as you probably have noticed throughout the game. You do need to get all three of them. They are in random spots. Two of them require the Ram Ruin, uh, and one requires the Spider Ruin. You'll always see the Spider Ruin one, because it's a building that you have to climb up in order to get it. The, the two Ram Ruins, they're kind of tricky. The first one's kind of easy to miss because it doesn't show up on the map at all, so you need to kind of be paying attention for where there's the downward uh, slam spot in order to be able to use the Ram Ruin, and then you'll fall in and grab it and then teleport out. The other really tricky one is that if you find one here there's going to be a little flower somewhere on the stage and it's really hard to see but it's really just kind of like something that looks like it's part of the background but if you slam the flower three times with the ram ruin it'll drop its third key basically the the key so once you get all three of those then the fun begins all right so you need to go a very specific route in order to be able to do this uh you need to leave the promenade and go to the ramparts and this is where boss l3 kind of plays in what happens is once you have the keys, you're going to find these little hidden um, spots or whatever that are locked up. And so what will happen is that you just need to find a way into that particular area. And then once you get in there, you use the gardener's key to unlock the moonflower key. As you saw here, you need to have the third boss cells. The, there'll be these doors that open up ever depending on what difficulty you're playing on. And at level 3, you can get to the insufferable crypt from the ramparts, which is what you need to do because you need to get to the graveyard. Once you're in the graveyard, you kind of need to do the same thing, where you need to keep going until you eventually find a little spot that's kind of hidden away. You kind of will notice it. I had to kind of play around for this one a little bit. This one wasn't too bad, but it was kind of out in the middle of nowhere. The really difficult one is that once you leave the graveyard, you're in the Forgotten Spelcher, and that's a really, really crap one, because it's really hard to see everything. You need to be searching everywhere, and you have limited time before you start taking damage. So be careful with that one. Hopefully you get lucky, and you're able to get it right away, but... Once you're done with that, continue on to High Peak Castle, or you'll have to obviously you'll have to fight the next boss, then go to the High Peak Castle. And once you do, you should have all three of the Moonflower keys. Same thing, you need to be kind of looking around for a secret hidden room. And when you do eventually find it, you'll actually be able to unlock all three parts. There's going to be two random items, and a third one will have a blueprint. And this blueprint is not really worth it, but again, I'm a collector, so I want to make sure I have everything. But still, it's it's just it's a lot of work and it's a lot of everything, but that's how you end up getting it. So hopefully the video helped you. If it did, go ahead and give it a like. If you enjoy other game related content, that's kinda of what I do, so consider subscribing. If you're looking for more info on this game, go ahead and either leave a comment down below uh, asking a question and I'll try to explain it. I'll always check the playlist, I might have it there. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezor until next time. Keep your story going.